Welcome to the educational video working with tension, it will help you familiarize yourself with four effective exercises that serve to relieve tension and increase concentration during group workshops. Remember, these exercises aim not only to relieve tension but also to increase concentration and readiness for workshop work. We invite you to watch and learn. Exercise, catch me. The exercise aims to relieve tension through movement and laughter in relation to another person and to increase concentration and readiness for workshop work during the rest of the training. The exercise can only be performed in pairs, the pairing is arbitrary, an option is to work in pairs with an observer, but then the goal of concentration and focus, as well as tension relief, is not achieved for all people. Participants agree who is person A and person B. Person A holds their hands in front of them spaced about 30 centimeters apart. Person B's task is to move their hand between the hands of person A and not get caught. The change of people occurs from the moment person A first catches person B, the moment of her task completion. The facilitator invites several rounds of changes. Encourages participants to act faster, prevent and catch each other. The exercise has the properties of stimulating laughter and joy regardless of the situation in which it is applied, as long as the participants start this action at all participation in the exercise is almost certain. Participants are focused on the result, on the speed of reaction, on themselves and the other person, and these different types of loads cause them not to control the aspect of laughter, fun, which simply happens between them and beyond their attention, relieves tension. The exercise engages easily and strongly, it should not be interrupted too quickly so as not to lose the participants' engagement, it usually lasts in full engagement for 3 to 5 minutes and then it is worth changing the pair compositions or stopping the exercise for the whole group. The end result is a reduction in tension, relaxation, through laughter breath oxygenation, increased concentration on workshop work, increased readiness to share experiences, removal of the internal obstacle of unspoken emotional tension, blockage, or its significant reduction. The exercise can be repeated many times, participants like it, it can be used, for example, after the completion of some stage of work or in each training block. Exercise, high fives. The exercise helps to achieve the relaxation needed before starting work or before the next stage of the workshop, in any other situation it simply works relaxing, it also facilitates relationship building. Participants move around the room freely, make eye contact, approach each other and give high fives, hit the open palm of the hand of the person chosen for the meeting, then they move on to the next person in the group and so on until they have met everyone. Variant B. People hit with both hands at once. The exercise brings a lot of joy, freedom, relaxation. The facilitator should encourage participants to use as much energy as possible in meeting the palm of the hand with another person and also to make sounds accompanying the hitting of hands against each other, to quickly change pairs in meetings and also to suggest modifications of the exercise if there is a need in the group. Modifications consist in changing the body part with which the greeting takes place, e.g. to arms, elbows, calves, feet, back of the head, etc. However, with attention to the dynamics of the group, in such a way that people do not have the opportunity to cross their boundaries as a result of implementing the instructions, and gradually so as not to exceed the capabilities of the group. Exercise, stomping. Exercise in case of noticing tension in the group. Universal and easy to use regardless of the size of the group. We invite the group to stand up, ask for as strong a stomping as possible with alternating right and left foot, hitting more with heels and outer sides of the foot than with toes and observing sensations in the body, you can move on to hitting the ground with both feet at once if conditions allow. The facilitator should encourage to increase and decrease the frequency, strength of stomping and to modify during the exercise, for example. Add clapping to the stomping, speed up and slow down again. Replace clapping with hitting the chest and making a long sound A. The hitting should not be too strong, with three joined fingers thumb, index and middle finger. In the first part of the exercise, participants do it separately each in their own way. In the second part, participants perform stomping, clapping and hitting at the pace set by the facilitator together synchronously to achieve one stomping rhythm. In the third, they stand in a circle and stomp in march together synchronously, slower, clearly and longer slowing down together until they stop. 
In the fourth, they can add movements to the stomping as if dusting off clothes. At the same time stomping, they dust off the dust from hands, chest, pelvis and legs, each of their bodies. The exercises are universal, they work in every group as long as the participants are skillfully introduced and invited to them. The facilitator should avoid explaining the real purpose, which is tension reduction, and encourage to play, experiment and observe the change of state by the participants, laugh and have fun with others thus helping them to release tension. Exercise, SIO. The exercise helps in achieving quick relief in tension. It can be performed regardless of the size of the group, scattered in the room or in a circle, in subgroups of threes and pairs in such a way that one person performs the exercises and another others cheer, make corrections to the movement, do the exercise with this person in whole or in part to help her in the task, also be a witness which in itself is helpful. Pay attention to comfortable shoes. People in heels, high heels may have difficulties and should perform the exercise carefully or give it up. Pregnant women should not perform this exercise, nor should people with other physical ailments, balance problems, and severe overweight. Participants stand in a slight straddle, rise on their toes, while raising their hands up as high as possible, straightening their whole body, taking a deep breath and then stopping in this position. Then they energetically lower their whole body to a deep squat while making a sighing sound O. Oh. And clapping their hands on the floor at the end, they stop in this final position for a moment. Then they slowly rise again taking a breath up to the starting position and start the whole exercise again. We repeat the whole sequence two to three times, watching for dizziness and other symptoms from the body. We check the participants' well-being after the exercise, before moving on to make sure they are ready, and also to raise awareness of the state change. Exercise, counting circle. The exercise aims to engage participants in releasing tension. The group stands in a circle. In the first stage, the facilitator invites to count the next digits by the next people standing next to each other, in turn as they stand in the circle. They are to count louder and louder, starting from a whisper. This exercise is to take place as long as possible, the next people should raise their voice noticeably but not excessively, so that the intensity of the counting in the circle increases slowly. The task of the facilitator is to make sure that the group does not move to the maximum volume level too early as this may cause the exercise to end too quickly and not achieve sufficient discharge. It is also worth encouraging people who have difficulty counting loudly to overcome these difficulties in the group, together with others, with witnesses. The exercise aims for people to emotionally shout out the numbers at the end. Two variant of the exercise. The group in a circle slowly chants one word counts, louder and louder, you can clap to this, until reaching the limit of achievable loudness. Variant 3 can be repeating one or several words louder and louder. The essence of this work is to throw out as much energy as possible and if it can be helpful, it is worth changing the numbers to words important for the participants related to tension release. So there is no real importance what words are spoken, however, Counting allows easier grasp of the structure, gives a skeleton and helps to focus on the aspect of louder and louder speaking shouting. The exercise is not discussed by default and has the function of reducing tension, it is an interlude, however, like any work with a group, it can provide an opportunity to analyse difficulties in implementation, find their causes, draw conclusions towards changes. Exercise, singing circle. A relaxing exercise of a gentle nature. The group stands in a circle, participants stand as close to each other as possible, they can hug or touch each other's shoulders. The exercise can also be performed scattered in the room as well as in pairs, trios, subgroups. Before performing the task, invite the group to take three deeper breaths and focus attention on the ground floor under the feet. Participants can hold hands in a half, by the palms, or otherwise if they want. Start making a continuous A. Sound of any height on the inhale and keep it as long as possible slowly exhaling, demonstrate what you mean and first take the risk of exposure and evaluation to make it easier for others. Invite the others to do the same, taking in air when they think, starting and ending the sound just as it comes out to them. The idea is to make a not too loud yet continuous sound throughout the circle so that the sound flows continuously and creates a friendly, supportive, relaxing atmosphere.
A singing circle in this way will probably discover the pleasure and relief of being in this way and will continue to sing relatively long and should not be interrupted, with the intention of deepening the surrender of tension. The singing will end spontaneously when the tension in the circle lowers enough to be able to relax and stop singing, leave the circle. This is the moment to undertake another activity or propose a break. Safe place on earth. Visualization aimed at invoking the supportive psychophysical state needed in a tense situation. It is suitable for implementation in any conditions and in any group, it is essentially individual work. Although it is suitable for discussion and searching for tips in the area of tension work and finding a resourceful state. Sit comfortably, take a few deep breaths, relax as much as possible, let time flow. Remind yourself of such a moment in life when you felt safe, comfortable, comfortable, pleasant, where it was, see, feel, hear what is in this place as if it was now. Move there and experience this situation at this moment, what is happening there, who is there, what you are doing there, how you behave, what is the temperature, what sound, how your body feels, what your thoughts are, what emotions, what is so characteristic in this place and this situation. Feel this state, well-being, this relaxation, this peace, this freedom, notice how your body releases tension. Stay in this state now and just breathe. Realize how little it took to change your state to reduce the tension that accompanied us earlier, or to simply improve your state. Notice how easily you can reach this place on earth and change your state in this way. All you need to do is observe this need and move to that place, focus your attention on its aspects, recall them from memory and allow yourself to be in this state. How can this change your everyday life, your life?